Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, we are gonna be doing a one year update on Hello. Miss Mila girl. She just turned one year old two days ago. So she is freshly 12 months old. I've tried to update you guys on her growth and things like that in vlogs, but I haven't done a dedicated update. So I thought it would be a fun idea since she just turned one to do a yearly recap of the first year of her life and do a milestone recap. I have everything written down in my phone of her first year of life. Just to give you guys an idea on what it's like with the first year of a baby. Of course, every baby is different, but I thought it'd be fun to go through in case you're a new mama and want to just see what milestones to look for throughout their first year of life and I'm also just gonna give a quick update on her currently in the beginning of this video so let me know down in the comments if you guys have been here since my pregnancy with her or the birth of her and have followed her along for the first year of life with us or let me know if you are new here and this is the first video you're watching of mine if it is please don't forget to subscribe so that you can stick around for more videos from us we would love to have you here on this channel and without further ado we're gonna hop into Mila's one year update. I'm going to start with a quick update of Mila currently at 12 months old and then I'm going to backtrack a little bit and start from the beginning and go through her first year of life. But as of right now, Mila is one year and two days. Like I said, she has not had her one year checkup yet, so I don't have 100% accurate measurements on her, but I did weigh her using my own scale and my own ruler. And according to my scale, she's 25 and a half pounds. And I couldn't get a really good height estimate of her because she was squirming and I don't have the proper tools. But from what I can see, she's about 28 to 29 inches, somewhere in between there. I'm not sure exactly what percentile those are obviously but throughout the first year of her life for her height she was always on the shorter end nothing to be concerned about I'm not sure right now if she's back up to average height but from what I know for the first year she was always on the shorter end of the spectrum also one of her newest milestones I don't know if you guys saw her here in the back but Mila is now walking she took her first two steps when she was 11 months and about a week old here she goes and from there she just started walking every day a little bit more and now she is walking completely across a room by herself and if she falls she can get herself back up and just continue going so over the period of like a week she just started walking out of nowhere so that is pretty much her most recent milestone she's also saying not many words but she says mama dada and hi and she also knows how to wave which she's known how to do for a while as for her eating habits at a year old she does eat three meals a day with some snacks in between so she eats breakfast lunch and dinner and she also is still exclusively breastfed which is something that I want to get into a little bit so we have been officially exclusively breastfeeding for one entire year which I feel like is a celebration in itself she currently only nurses about three times a day so we are slowly soon gonna start trying to wean her down to just at night but she nurses once in the morning once sometime in the middle of the day and mostly at night and yes she is still nursing quite a few times throughout the middle of the night but it's more just like a comfort nurse rather than an actual drinking session so her breastfeeding journey is going really well and we don't see it stopping anytime soon but we are gonna start the weaning process here in the near future so if that's something that you want me to document and share with you guys I can do that her sleeping schedule has also changed a bit now that she's a year old so she is taking one longer nap a little bit later in the morning so instead of her usual nine o'clock morning nap it's now down to about 11 to 11 30 and she takes a good two hour nap and then she does take one shorter cat nap in the afternoon and she's been doing that for quite a few weeks so we're not quite down to one nap a day yet but her nap is getting later in the morning and I think soon we're gonna be down to one nap a day she also knows how to share which is something she was just doing. Mila, can you share? You share? Thank you. So that is one of her other milestones slash skills. She's been doing that for about a month now, I would say. And then just a couple other things that I'll document about her at this age while she's here before I give her to her dad so I can do the rest of the video with you guys. Mila is just the most lovable, happy baby. She always has been since she was a newborn. She loves just cuddling, love, being held, being hugged. Um, she loves music. She loves dancing. Her favorite show right now is Coco Melon. We actually got her a little Coco Melon toy for her birthday because she is obsessed with that show and she sits and watches it a couple times throughout the day. Her favorite foods right now are green beans, um, waffles. She loves 
waffles for breakfast and she loves any type of fruit so strawberries and blueberries and bananas especially her hair is finally long enough to put up into a ponytail um, she size 2t clothes now and size 12 to 18 month shoes which I believe is a size 4 she's got really tiny little baby feet and yeah it's just a couple things that I want to document and remember about her but I cannot believe she's a year I'm gonna give her to her dad now though so I can go through the rest of the video and do her one year milestone recap for you guys but Mila's gonna go can you say bye bye Mila say bye you wave you share share thank you <laughs> during the first year of Mila's life I have written down and documented all of the things that I thought were important to take notes on her milestones her monthly development and just things like that and I thought it would be fun to go through and share with you guys in case you're wondering what milestones to look for during certain ages what development you should be looking for during their first year of life all babies are different though so quick disclaimer I'm not a doctor or a pediatrician of course speak to your baby baby's doctor or pediatrician if you have any concerns on your baby's development or growth. These are just personally my experiences during my daughter's first year of life. If you have any concerns, I would definitely recommend speaking to your pediatrician, but I'm just going to go through the notes on my phone and let you guys know some of Mila's personal development and stuff like that. And from what I know, she was 100% on track. So the first thing I have written down is for her first month. Again, I was exclusively breastfeeding, so I've written down that she was feeding about uh, 10 to 14 times a day, which was normal from what I know at that age. She was nursing for about an hour at a time, if I remember correctly, and I was also pumping in the meantime, so I spent most of my days feeding her. She also had her first smile at one month and two weeks old, so I have that written down. Not much really happened in that first month to two because obviously she was just a newborn and we were just kind of getting our schedule down. And then during her second month, I have written down that she loves playing on her play mat and she was trying to grab at the toys. So that's something that I noticed around the two to two and a half month mark. She learned how to grab at different toys that were hanging on her play mat. So that's something that I took note of because I know that that is definitely a milestone. At three months old, I had that Mila did her first giggle, which I actually got on camera in one of my past vlogs from the beginning of the year. You're so close to giggling. Let me hear. <laughs> oh, oh my God. And then at her three month mark also, she rolled over. So that is definitely one of the first bigger milestones I would say with the baby is rolling over. At four months old, she had her first tasting of baby food. So we did start giving baby food at four months old. She was ready for it and we ran it by her pediatrician to make sure that it was okay. I did notice at the time of starting baby food, we started with just breakfast and slowly increased to breakfast, lunch, and dinner over a course of the few months. But once we started incorporating purees, I noticed that her baby food intake went up as her nursing sessions went down. So at this time, I wrote that she was nursing about eight to 10 times a day, which I feel like is still Quite a bit, but definitely decreased from when she was a newborn. Five months old, I had written that she was eating baby food two to three times a day, and she was also trying to sit up on her own. So something to look out for around the five to eight month mark is sitting up on their own. That's a huge milestone for baby, and she had started around five months, but didn't quite get there until she was about six months old. She also got her first and second tooth at five months old. She got each tooth one day apart, I have written down. So her first tooth was on April 8th and her second tooth was on April 9th. Babies can develop teeth anytime during their first year, so that's something that is gonna be different for every single baby, but personally, both of my babies have gotten their first teeth around five months old. At six months old, I wrote down that she started to pick things up with her pointer and thumb, which is a really big milestone for babies to hit around this age. So I had wrote that I had started giving her puffs and yogurt melts, which are just baby snacks, and she was picking them up on her own with her fingers. She also had learned how to dance, which I have so many videos of her learning how to dance at this age, and she was also sitting up completely on her own by six months old with no support or help. At eight months old, Mila said her first Mama. word, which was mama. And shortly after that, she started saying dada as well. And then also at nine months old, she got her top four teeth. So nine months was a big milestone for getting teeth. She got four teeth at that time. She also started clapping and waving at nine months old, which are two 
huge milestones. At 10 months old, she found her tongue, so she started to mimic us whenever we would stick our tongue out at her and she would do it back, so she figured out how to do that. She also, again, was clapping, waving, um, grabbing at things. She started eating a lot more food at that point. We were incorporating not only pureed food, but solid foods that were chopped super tiny. We didn't do a form of baby lead weaning. But we definitely included solid foods in smaller pieces. She was still exclusively breastfed, of course, and she was nursing about six times a day at that point. At 10 months old, she also stood up by herself without holding on to anything. And then that pretty much leads us to her 11 to 12 month mark where she started to take steps, walk, and things like that. So that is the recap of Mila's monthly milestone. It was kind of a condensed version, but I didn't want to go into too much detail because again, it's going to be different for every single baby. But just in case you're interested in what milestones to look out for during the first year, those are some fun ones and some of my favorite ones that I decided to document for her. But yeah, this was a really fun video to film. I am so happy that I'm going to have this to look back on in my future and even with future babies just to compare all of my babies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video also again please don't forget to subscribe to the channel we would love to have you stick around i do motherhood and lifestyle type content on this channel if you're interested in those types of videos so make sure you hit the red subscribe button down there to subscribe and that's gonna be all for today so we're gonna see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>